from a purely business standpoint, this is going to have to go down as one of the best weeks in WWE history. Like, what could actually hold a candle to this? In the grand scheme of thinking about it from a business perspective, going public, eh. Buying WCW, ECW for a pittance and making money many times over on it. Eh. It all pales in comparison to this. First, the reports that hit right before the weekend, talking about how Raw is going to stay on USA and the company was going to get three times potentially the value to keep it there. That's outstanding in and of itself when you look at a company getting about 160 to $180 million a year in their domestic television package. And let's just assume that Raw, being 60% of the length of the product, slightly higher rated, gets 60% of that revenue. That's about $100 million or so for Raw. Triple that, $300 million plus maybe a little bit more. Number could be even greater, but baseline about $300 something million. So whereas the total television deal that this company signed back in 2014 was under 200 million a year, they're now in a position where they're getting 300 million plus just for the three hours of Monday Night Raw to stay where they already were. But that's not all. The reports broke out right during the weekend that Fox, Fox, like Fox, Fox, free over the air TV, Fox, in as many homes as just about any network in this country, Fox has agreed to purchase the rights to air WWE Smackdown on Friday nights to the tune of, batting down the britches, a billion dollars over five years. The B show of WWE is worth a billion dollars over the next five years starting in late 2019. Think about that. $200 million a year for the B show. When the previous television deal with you throw in domestic and international combined all together was about $200 million. Now SmackDown, the B show, is getting that exact same amount. This is a massive, massive windfall and victory for great timing and leverage for the WWE. It's incredible. Just absolutely astounding. Stock price at all time highs. Look at the amount of money they're about to get. Smackdown for Christ's sakes worth a billion dollars. Hashtag fire road dog my ass. Dude should be promoted. Somebody bought into that. And not only that, when you look at the bigger picture, if you keep Raw on USA, and then you have a second home for your second show, SmackDown, but it is showing on Friday nights on free over-the-air network television where you have the NFL, you have NASCAR, you have college football, you have, in some years, the Super Bowl. WWE is going to be able to have the opportunity to market and cross-promote during those events, during other television shows on Fox, one of the biggest networks in the country. A billion dollars in all that additional mainstream exposure. This is... The height of the glory for Vincent Kennedy McMahon. This is the mainstream validation he has sought for so long. You cannot take it away from him. You cannot diminish it. You cannot belittle it. Because the truth is in the numbers. And the numbers say this is a shit ton of money. And what's crazy about this is it's so perfectly suited to the world we have today where it feels like mediocrity is rewarded. And then let's not kid ourselves, even if you happen to like the WWE product currently. It is a mediocre product to say the very, very least. Being generous there. But for being mediocre, not great, not even very good, or not even good, 
and siphoning off more and more viewers every year, the company is looking at north of $500 million combined per year just for their two shows, Raw and SmackDown. That is, think about this for a second. A hundred million dollars per year, as it's constructed right now, for each hour of television. Now, SmackDown goes to three hours on Friday night, different story. But for now, Raw is three hours, SmackDown Live's two hours, five hours, five hundred million dollars a year. That's a hundred million dollars an hour of television per week. When you break that out over 52 weeks, that's still a shit ton of money. To be mediocre! Imagine how much they could get if the product was good. Imagine how much more they might be able to get if they had a million more viewers of Raw and maybe a half million more viewers of SmackDown. Could you imagine? That's insane. It is absolutely insane. It just goes to show you sometimes. It doesn't matter how good or bad your product is. It doesn't matter this. It doesn't matter that. Frankly, all the cost cutting they did, it didn't really freaking matter all that much because ultimately they benefited from great timing as I talked about in the video about the Raw television contract and they benefited from having leverage, having multiple potential bidders for their product. That's all about positioning and leveraging and the WWE where they really screwed the pooch four years ago and they had horrible timing especially with the release of the WWE Network and the uncertainty that that brought about now four years later with UFC up in limbo in terms of where its permanent television home is going to be and looking at the ratings, even if declining, that the WWE could still pull on prime time cable television on USA between Raw and SmackDown. They have now been incredibly handsomely rewarded. This is nuts! Imagine how much more they could get if the product was good. There is no excuse anymore. And the thing is, before we sit there and say, well, it doesn't really matter. Well, on the one hand, up to this point, it didn't really matter. No matter what we complain about with the product, because the company got paid a shit ton of money. But long term, now that the price has been stepped up exponentially, there's going to be a massive amount of pressure for both Raw and SmackDown because now you have massive expectations to live up to, way above and beyond what you were previously having to deliver. And especially with Fox, them having to take the risk of putting that on prime time on a Friday night, they're going to expect results. They're going to expect something to be delivered, especially for a new television partner. This is not the same thing as the years and years of working relationship that Vince McMahon and the WWE have with NBC Universal and the USA Network going to Fox, an entirely different animal. This is insane. They got a billion dollars over five years for SmackDown and a lot of people think the show absolutely sucks. They got 300 plus million a year to keep Raw on the same network in the same time slot, same length and everything. No matter how much people complain about the show being too damn long, the show being boring, and this and that, it didn't matter. They got paid. They got rewarded massively for mediocrity. Now that is the American way. And most importantly of all, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, I hope once and for all, you can sit there and say to yourself, I finally got my mainstream validation. Not like you should have needed it, like, not like you technically didn't already have it, but you've obviously got it now. Let's hope you could take this money and invest it in your product. Let's hope you could take some of this money and you could pay your talents more. Oh, let's, God forbid, hope that maybe you can get to the point where you actually offer your wrestlers some damn health insurance and not use this money just so that way you could sell more stock to fund your fucking football league.